हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी शोइंग यू ए वेरी स्पेशल लाइब्रेरी ऑफ नोट शेयर्स इन जावा स्क्रिप्ट व्हिच इज कॉल्ड एज स्टैटिक क्रिप्ट बेसिकली गाइस दिस लाइब्रेरी अलाउज यू टू पासवर्ड प्रोटेक्ट एनी स्टैटिक एचटीएमएल पेज दैट यू वांट टू लेट्स सपोज यू ओन अ वेबसाइट यू आर ओनिंग अ स्टैटिक एचटीएमएल वेबसाइट यू वांट टू प्रोटेक्ट एनी सॉर्ट ऑफ सर्टेन पार्ट्स ऑफ योर वेबसाइट सर्टेन पेजेस सो यू कैन पासवर्ड प्रोटेक्ट देम दिस इज अ special library which makes use of crypto js library inside the browser you can use it inside the node js platform and also you can use it inside this awesome little tool this guy have developed i have written a complete blog post on my tutorial website webninjadeveloper.com so i have given that link in the description of this live stream so definitely check out this blog post i have explained step by step on how to generate password protected html pages how to uh, provide a custom password as well so let me first of all show you this library so if you just go to npm js it's a package you can also use it on the node js also just type here static crypt this is the name of the library guys the very first link which appears so 946 weekly downloads is very new library i just discovered today so i just wanted to share with you guys so this is basically uses aes 256 encryption based algorithm to encrypt your static html file with your custom password that you provide and it just returns a static page including that password protect prompt similar to this so basically it will ask you to write the password in order to as uh, access that protected page and they offer this online tool guys with the help of which you can generate the uh, password protected html page so let's suppose you want to choose your password let me choose 1 2 3 4 5 6 and you can just paste any sort of html here let me select this html this is just a simple little normal html page which looks like this if you open this welcome to the protected page so i just need to protect this page guys in real life scenario you will pay, uh, just protect your content if you want to protect it so let's suppose i paste this html here and basically guys it uh, it will ask you if you want to add this remember me checkbox i will say yes you can even customize this you can change the page title you can also put the instructions to the to display to the user as well so all the customization you can do this guys here and after this there is a button out there to generate the password protected html so simply click this and now it will have this file here simply download this file which is an encrypted file here now if you open this file guys you will see this is the dialog box which will appear here it will simply ask for the password that you uh, created so let me enter a wrong password here you will see that it will say it will not al uh, just allow you to enter it so you need to enter the correct password so if i enter again wrong password i need to enter 1 2 3 4 click on you can see that welcome to the protected page so in this case guys you can see that you can protect your html pages static html pages with the password with the help of this online tool so if you want to generate these pages on the command line itself guys you can install this library that i have shown you you can do this npm i dash g for global installation and just type here static crypt this is the name of the package so simply install this package guys globally inside your machine so this will take some time after installation you will be able to run these commands out there of static crypt so if you just type here in the command line static crypt so this is all the options this command offers so now let me just basically do a very simple example let me delete these files here so let me take a very simple example here this is my index.html file once again we are taking the same example this is a file that we need to password protect so now what i will do is that if you see basically there is only a single file there so now let me protect this file so i will just write this command static crypt and then followed by the index.html file here and then you set your password i can select here password let's suppose uh, i choose the password as my name gautam so this is my password so now you can see that guys as i execute this command on the left hand side you will see these two files gets created here extra files so this is the encrypted file guys you will uh, just send this file to anyone that you want to uh, access the page and then you will also tell them the password as well so now if i open this they will be protected with the page here you can see this is a dialog box and uh, now if i enter wrong password here 
you will see bad password you will see that you can see that bad password so i need to only enter that password which is gotham you will see so if you put this remember me option guys you will now see what will happen if you click welcome to the protected page once again if you open this it will now let you do this so if you don't select this remember me option guys so what will happen so i have selected that remember me option so let me again ex uh, create these files again so now if i if you don't select that uh, remember me option if i write the correct password here if you don't select this so every time you need to enter the password every time so this is a nice little option that it offers you you need to click on the remember me so that whenever you enter the password you will only enter for the first time then after you access this file you don't need to enter the password but that was a great feature and basically you can even disable this also if you disable this no remember me option will be there so if you now generate this you will see that no remember me option will be there only the password field will be there so you so it totally depends upon you if you want to provide the remember me option or not enter password access your page very simple stuff guys very a nice little library that i discovered right uh, today so i just wanted to share this library to you and you can get all the source code and step by step instruction on how to configure this library just go to my blog post web ninja developer the description of this video you can just find this blog post so thank you very much for watching this tutorial guys and i will be seeing you in the next video please like the video